Marcus was kind of talking about the special teams been getting a lot of flack, you know, a little bit as far as that. Uh, you know, maybe you, you, what you can do, man, just give a little re- reassurance about what, what it is y'all, y'all going to have, your mentality coming into the playoffs, and y'all demand on it. Uh, mm-hmm. Because I said, like last like last night, I was talking about, I said, the one thing that I want to see that they had to get right is special teams. So you're not necessarily be, being a special teams captain. I want to hear from you. What do you need to do in the playoffs, in the playoffs right here, to get a championship? Uh, I believe we should play like how we did uh, this past Raiders game. If you look at our special teams, we played lights out. I mean, we flipped the field. We went four for four. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We did what we need to do um, to go into the playoffs. So I feel like we're on a high note. Um, Coach Tobe always said we need to, need to end the season on a high note and go on a playoffs rolling. I mean, we got the pieces. You know what I'm saying? We got the the talent in the room. We just, you know what I'm saying, had some mishaps here and there. That That's what just happens, you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, different, you got young uh, specialists, um, you know what I'm saying? Things just didn't happen our way. But we got the talent, and we should put it on showcase the last game of the season, you know, when a lot of people start um, tanking, you know, falling off. But, we know, we stepping up because we know our end goal is. So I feel like we got the right pieces in um, place, and how we ended the season, it's just, you know what I'm saying, we don't. The sky's the limit in that room. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. Now, I, when you talk about special teams, I used to be a special teams coach in college. Um, I was a coordinator, and one of the things I always wanted to do was I always wanted to take my mentality as a coach and put it into my players. But I always had to know the guys that I had going down on coverage. They had to be some dogs. Mm-hmm. You know, when I'm telling you, like when I'm talking about go out and go hunt, go get. I'm talking about I got to have that guy, okay? I can't have a guy who's passing back here, who's fighting at the line of scrimmage or whatever. Like, you <laughs> yeah. know, he didn't have it in him, right? He didn't have mm-hmm. it in him. Tell me type of the, the pride that y'all got in that room, because I don't think people talk about this enough, okay? You know, everybody puts they, the the offense on a pedestal, right? The defense gets a lot of that shine. But the special teams is like, one, it's one of those teams that everybody don't quite know who's all on it, right? Mm-hmm. Talk about the guys that's in the room, the guys that's coming down, the type of bond that y'all have when y'all going down there and y'all mentality, what y'all think? Oh, uh, sure. We got a bunch of dogs. We got a bunch of animals that just want to eat. Uh, basically, we got guys that sh- I believe are starters on different teams. But we, um, on this team, we have, we have a role. Everybody has a role in the team. And we just, you know what I'm saying, doing what we can to help the team. Because technically, punt and uh, kickoff is like the first uh, defense, I believe, the first uh, play on defense. You know what I'm saying? So we uh, keeping that offense – Pin to their um to their uh, touchdown and stuff like that. So you take a certain pride in that, and then you make plays. You know, plays only come um, you know, so little in a game because you only get like nine snaps. Like uh, on our team on on punt, you only get like what four punts a game, if that. Exactly. So you got to make an opportunity of those um punts. So we just come down and just make plays, and uh, we got some dogs around us. I'm telling you, we got some animals. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.